In this section, we will have a look at some important features that have to do with ONTAP networking. We'll touch upon ports, then we will discuss LIFs, and after that we will focus on the different network types, like the Cluster Interconnect network, the Management network, and the Data network. We'll dive into the details in the relevant network module later on. Now a node will receive traffic via so-called ports. These ports are either physical ports or virtual ports. Physical ports are network interface cards that are present in every node of the cluster. Virtual ports can be interface groups or they can be VLAN ports. Interface groups are collections of physical ports that will give more redundancy and better bandwidth. And ONTAP also supports VLAN ports, which can be configured upon physical ports and they can also be configured upon interface groups. It's important to realize that clients and administrators never directly access ports. They always use logical interfaces or LIFs. LIFs are used by administrators to connect to the cluster to manage the cluster. But LIFs are also used by clients to connect to the cluster to send and retrieve data. Another thing is that a single port can host multiple LIFs. Now in the networking module we will further discuss physical and virtual ports as well as setting up logical interfaces. Now let's focus on the different networks you can run in an ONTAP cluster. In the previous section we discussed the presence and importance of the cluster interconnect network. This network is used for cluster configuration as well as heartbeat. But also, if a node needs to send data to another node, this will be sent via this cluster interconnect. A single node does not have a cluster interconnect network, but any other setup will need a cluster interconnect to function properly. The minimum number of ports that will be used for this network is two per node. It's important to realize that the cluster interconnect ports are always physical ports, and they cannot be used for any other traffic than the cluster interconnect traffic. This really is a separate and private network. We also noted that this network is never accessed by clients. So how do clients and administrators access the cluster? This is done via the data network and via the management network. These can be two physically separated networks, or if you want, NetApp supports running both networks on one physical network. This is not best practice though. So let's say we stick to the best practices. Then you would build a data network via which clients store and retrieve data and a management network that you, as an administrator, use to manage your cluster. To access your cluster as an administrator, you're advised to use the cluster management interface or the cluster management LIF, as it's also called. Every cluster has one and exactly one cluster management LIF. This LIF can run on any node in the cluster and will automatically fail over to another node if that particular node or port fails. So in a healthy cluster, the cluster management LIF is always available. Once you access the cluster management IP address via PuTTY or SSH, or via the system manager, which is a browser user interface, you will have access to your entire cluster. Whatever you do via that interface will reflect on the entire cluster configuration. Now there's a lot more to be said on networking, but we'll deal with that later. So in summary, we had a quick look at ports, which can be physical or virtual. And to access the cluster, you need to set up logical interfaces upon ports in order to be able to connect. We also had a look at the cluster interconnect network, and we saw that it's a physically separate network using dedicated physical ports with a minimum of two ports per node. We have a data network and a management network, which can be physically combined or preferably on two physical separate networks. Part of the management network is the cluster management IP address, via which we manage the cluster configuration either via PuTTY or SSH or via System Manager.